Welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how to take manual backups from your Mac. Now, there are situations when you really need to take a take up the backup manually. Most of the time at work, what we uh, when our um, the normal tool fails to backup all user data, then we go ahead copy all the data manually and in that case we do have like we do ask our user when we are setting up their laptops hey try to keep yourself uh, keep all of your data in that specific folder like my documents most of them they have it on desktop and uh, uh, you know um, we have to tell them hey don't put everything on desktop that takes up ram and all that so it's that's a lot of uh, user education now in the meantime while i was talking i connected one of my usb drive you can see it's showed up here and if i click over here you can see lost a drs sand disk to take up the manual backup uh in on mac you have to go and actually open let's find her and you will actually go into your macbook pro and users and that is your home folder now for me it's gonna be this for the other person whoever is it have them log in so you can access their uh, home folder this is the other users home folder but probably i i don't have access you can see the so they have to be logged in and to manually back up all you have to do is just drag and drop for example if uh, obviously they are well organized if the user has been doing the due diligence they would be putting all those documents in these folders so it's uh, your job is a lot easier if you were to go and image the laptop all over again all you have to do is just plug in the drive copy paste everything and in one shot actually you can open this one side next to it all you have to do is simply drag and drop here it didn't work okay probably I have to create a new folder uh, let's create a folder here mm. now let's see can we copy it copy and paste item so when drag and drop did not work we can see the copy pasted and it's about 24 gigabytes of data that is going to be transferred and that's how you manually transfer your data i am not going to wait for it i'm going to just cancel it but that's how you take the uh, manual backup but if for some reason the user has uh, data backed up on other places for example this will cover if you were to go and uh, copy the home folder that should cover the desktop folder as well you can see uh, this is the uh, that I can write there on my desktop so whatever is on uh, they have saved on desktop that will be uh, 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 saved on the drive as well but if for some reason they had made uh, by accident or you know for any reason they had another folder somewhere on the drive as always ask them make sure that you tell them that hey if we don't back it up now it will be lost forever so if they don't tell you, you are not uh, responsible for that loss. What uh, one other thing that I like to do whenever I'm set up a uh, laptop, I set a network drive for them as well. So they can, you know, uh, we don't have to worry about that. Just tell them, hey, this is your network drive folder. Just save your, so, uh, all of your data over, uh, over there. One other thing that uh, I like to do that, uh, you know, just in case if the user uh, is absent-minded or all that, I set up um, an automated uh, backup software. So this one is actually Amazon's uh, internal software. I 
I'm not sure if it's offered outside of Amazon, but that's basically what we do is it, it runs automatically, keeps the backup automatically. It's really great. So uh, I do like to set that one up. All right, so this is it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that uh, transfer now. Hopefully it will let me somewhere. All right, so if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.